I just started investigating GitHub's Copilot, and I thought I'd share my initial fighting findings. Uh, it's been, it certainly is a well uh, advanced code completion tool, and I'm excited about the possibilities of AI and software development to uh, reduce boiler, uh, boilerplate coding. I've been using uh, Copilot with uh, Visual Studio Code and Dart, uh, and um, I got a test file here uh, for Playground. I'm not sure how Copilot's going to react uh, the second time because it may uh, uh, remember how it helped in the past and just repeat those commands, but uh, we'll see another chance for, uh, for learning. So got a couple prompts here that I can paste in and we'll see where it goes from here. So here's a data class. Um, it's just uh, an item class with attributes. And let's see. Okay, so Copilot does this. So I've got my data class, and it is slightly different there. Um, we're gonna go item. Okay, great. So I I got the uh, uh, constructor there. Uh, second time, the first time I uh, tried that um, prompt, it uh, it added in the constructor. So not always a for sure thing how um, Copilot's going to uh, uh, suggest code uh, code completion. And then I want to have a function here that is going to filter a list of these items given um, two values. So we've got a list, perfect. And yeah, that's exactly what I want there. So um, given, given a list of items um, uh, between a max and a min, uh, min and max, then uh, return uh, the values in, um, uh, from that list. So if I then go a step further with this, um, I can actually, let's say I add in that these can be nullable, which is uh, it makes the function uh, uh, illegal now um, because of um, uh, uh, nullability, uh, uh, null safety in, in, in Dart. But um, we've got this uh, uh, function or um, co-completion uh, co by Copilot that's going to suggest uh, uh, to check those nulls before it actually goes through the items. And actually this is a, a more robust than the first time. The first time I tried this, it only just uh, checked if uh, min and max were null, that, the first statement there. So I'll go ahead and take all that. Um, and, but it did not max and max is null. Why is this, is min null? Um, so apparently, it's not like in this, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I guess I would go and max is not null. Okay, great, great. So it did that. And so now, and let's go and min is not null. Okay. All right. It's not picking up that these are now not null. I can force it. Um, but again, before it was doing this, okay, okay, let's actually, so I'm going to try this again and go if, let's see if it's going to, um, what we can do instead is, I guess uh, Copilot wasn't perfect this time, that's, uh, this is why I think software developer is going to be needed for a while longer because um, there's a, a things that um, AI is not going to um, do as well as as a uh, experienced coder. So there we go. We've got our function that filters two values and um, assisted and copilot assist with that. So let's try now. Um, how about if we go um, a test um, let's say test um, a list of uh, uh, six items and ensure uh, three are filtered, something like that. Okay, let's see what that does. So it, it creates a main and it gives us a list of six items. And, but that's not a perfect test there. And so if I go ahead and use this, let's say if I do that. And so um, there's the main. 
if I grab that prompt again and put it down here and go test here and I'm going to see if it filter right and so it um, filters between two and oh I need to get an import here and uh, that should work so um, having a co-pilot assist there definitely um, removed um, quite a bit of boilerplate but again it still um, requires um, some software development um, knowledge to ensure that the code is actually um, correct but I think as I get more as I get better um, creating prompts um, uh, I'll be able to do uh, more robust um, um, coding with uh, uh, the tool so there we go